skeleton. Yeah. Let's, check in, let's check in with Robin. Tell I us what confirm. we missed. Yes, no, it was frosty, I, I, but only because I was working this morning. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so I, I did see it. <laughs> and we did have frost in many spots around the Bay Area. And temperatures are cooling off quickly now that the sun has set. We're down to 43 degrees in Livermore, 48 in San Jose, and a beautiful post sunset view. San Francisco, 50 degrees. Notice the wind direction still slightly offshore, which means we could see a little more of that patchy fog inland drifting into our north and east bay valleys by the morning. 48 right now in San Jose with those clear skies and 46 Walnut Creek. Final stop Dublin at 43 degrees and there's that east northeast wind through the Altamont Pass heading into Livermore. Another pretty view. Look at Lake Tahoe. You think it's cold here? It was six degrees this morning at South Lake Tahoe. So for the rest of the world, this is cold weather. For the Bay Area, you know, 30s probably feels a bit chilly for us. So for Lake Tahoe, good news for travel plans. You saw the alert wildfire cam up there at Heavenly. We've got good travel tomorrow into Monday. Then everything begins to change back to winter storm warnings by Tuesday. So for tomorrow morning, more patchy fog and frost out there with those mid 30s in the valleys. And for tomorrow, highs still pretty chilly. Inland will see some upper 40s and low 50s for those north and east bay valleys. 57 in San Jose, 54 in San Francisco. Should be good football weather. Uh, 49ers, Falcons out there at Levi Stadium, mid 50s. So you're going to want a jacket for tomorrow. You don't need the umbrella, but it's going to be cooling quickly there towards the fourth quarter of the game. The morning begins with watching out for patchy fog. You see it there in the future cast. And then for the afternoon, we're beginning to see increasing high clouds. So for now, the storm is a little too far off to the west to bring rain chances by the end of the weekend. But later Monday into Tuesday, you can see this rain line on approach by the Tuesday morning commute. That could bring some locally heavy rain at times around the North Bay Mountains and Santa Cruz Mountains and sort of in and out of the rain at times Tuesday into Wednesday. So rainfall expectations Tuesday and Wednesday likely to be the tops up here for the uh, North Bay Mountains, these areas here in purple could be looking at two to three inches of rain, locally higher too around the Santa Cruz Mountains. But there's more still coming in as we get into Thursday and Friday. Wind and rain at times. The good news, I think, of these future casts is you're showing here that it's really not stalling out too long over any given area. So the rain totals are big, but they're being spread out over five days. And then we start to trend cooler heading into Friday and Saturday as these storms kind of drop in on us. Snow levels as we approach Christmas Day, by the way, can be close to three to 4,000 feet. So you put all of this together. Seven days of weather for the Sierra could bring another six to seven feet of snow and all the way down to Placerville and Auburn that tells you something about how chilly things will get just in time for Christmas Day. Good news in case you missed it this week, the Sierra snowpack thanks to the seven feet of snow we saw this week is now 98% of average and the numbers might double in another week. So there you go. Rain totals also looking good. As you see here, we're back in the surplus around the Bay Area and We've got a Seattle seven day forecast on the way. Look at San Francisco. You got rain off and on at times. I think the peak of the rain is going to be Tuesday through Thursday. That could be locally heavy at times, as you see there, and cooling temperatures heading towards next weekend, which means I would not rule out Mount Hamilton or even some of the higher peaks in the Bay Area possibly getting snow on Christmas Day. Wow. That is an exciting forecast. That's exactly really what is. people who've been dreaming of a white Christmas. Uh huh. Just Maybe. like the ones they used to know. Snow levels close to 4,000 feet. Well, let's All see. Right. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Fantastic, Rob. Thank you.